Hello guys, today we'll have a video without code editor and it will be a bit philosophical but pretty practical. Recently on my Twitter I asked you guys how do you define large project? So senior developers are required experience on large projects and what is exactly large? How do you define that? How do you calculate that? And I added four options for you and more than 1000 people voted. So what is a large Laravel project? A lot of models and database tables. That's the most popular answer with 40%. And then routes and points. This is the second answer in popularity. And then many requests per second in the sense of a lot of people using that at the same time. So you need to have optimizations in place. And then a lot of data in the database was the last option chosen only by 10%, but still 10% is not zero. And in this video, I want to emphasize not only those, but read your comments on that tweet and expand on those with my thoughts because then we see the full picture of what is large project and what do we need to have experience with to become senior developers or to get a better job. So let's run through the comments one by one. First, Rushirami tried to apply the same logic of calculating the things as I suggested. So 178 API routes and 42 models. Is it a lot or not? I would personally consider 178 API routes already a big project. It means a lot of different endpoints, a lot of functionality, and a lot of code to maintain. 42 models is not necessarily a big number, but it depends on the relationships. And this is what is exactly emphasized in this tweet. Then 1576 tests, which kind of corresponds to a lot of API routes and a team of four backend engineers, only four backend. So that is in all standards, by all metrics, a large project. Another reply from Daniel, which was voted by 15 people and also turned into a thread itself. It's about the logic of the app. So is the logic complicated? So a lot of functions like queue, schedule tasks, third party interactions, complex CI, CD, and Tom agreed and kind of translated it into number of files and lines of code. I don't think that measuring code complexity by lines of code is a good metric, but it tells you something about whether the project is large or not. So I translated it into the lines of code of app folder, which is your actual application. Then Steven tried to argue that the number of packages could be a metric, but with packages is debatable. To use more packages means more complexity, or in fact less complexity because you offload some of the complexity to the packages. That's what was said by Daniel. Then a lot of people replied with kind of combinations of all of those options. So many models, but it's rather complex relations between models. Then Eric says that it's all of the above and then multiple servers. Then Ezra is talking about modular substructure. Then Benjamin is talking about all options and revenue. And a particular metric that I liked was by Richard. Maybe more than two people working on it. So if you have already a team working on a project, especially if it's more than two people, that is automatically meaning complexity or a lot of features or a lot of code to maintain. So a lot of work. And then internally, it may turn in a lot of routes, a lot of models, a lot of everything. And I will link the original tweet in the description below so you can read all the replies. But my overall conclusion is if you want to become a senior developer and have practical experience with large projects, you probably should work on a project with at least one person on your team on the same project, backend developer potentially even more than one. So you would learn from each other, you would implement best practices as a team. And that also adds kind of seniority to your career and to your Laravel level. And then every project is pretty individual. For some projects, large amount of API endpoints or routes is a big thing. Then for other projects, it's the amount of models. For another project, it may be a lot of features in the app folder, a lot of files with a lot of code. What do you think? Maybe you will add some opinion to that list of replies. Shoot in the comments below. And if you want to learn more advanced stuff about Laravel, in my Laravel Learning Path repository on GitHub, there are four levels. So beginner, advanced, beginner, mid and senior. And if you scroll all the way down, there should be the list of topics, in my opinion, that should be covered by senior level more or less. So design patterns, everything with links to presentations and videos and courses. So solid code, 
scalable code, maintainable code, best practices, structuring databases, optimizations, working with high traffic projects and CI CD that was also mentioned among tweets. And of course, I will keep sharing some tips randomly on this YouTube channel. So subscribe to get daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.